Zion, Yisrael, Shema Yisrael. Shalom, 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 Zion, brothers and sisters of Yisrael, scattered to the four corners of the earth. Just stopped by on my way to Oklahoma. You know, if I see a lake, the most high called me to it, man. I got to go and, and give some type of word, give something. I'm always called to the lakes and to the water. It's very peaceful. So um, it was something that I had, <clears throat> had on my mind. It's about mindset. Man, your mindset is um, it's so important. The type of mindset that you have, not only the type of mindset that you have personally, but the type of mindset of the people that you hang that 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 you hang around. You want to be around people with the same type of mindset, at least as close as possible. For that way, you're not speaking a foreign language to them. When you're talking about, oh, I got to get in my studies, you don't hear. Oh, you can study later, or you can read the Bible later. Oh, why are you always in the Bible? Y'all got two different mindset. Whether it's family, a spouse, a best friend, at some point you gotta exit away because they're they gonna pull you away. That that is cause that different mindset. And I know it's hard to do, but when you really feel with the uh that Ruach HaKodesh, it's gonna be hard, but it ain't gonna be hard because you know that's what you must do. You gotta be around the people with the same mindset, with the same values in life. Um, that cherish the same things that you cherish, that want to fellowship, that want to worship, that want to read. Uh, you want to be around the people who who pumping you up. When they, as soon as they walk in the house, what's up? Where the Bible's at? Where the book's at? Let's get in this word. You know, uh, of course it ain't always uh, you want to get in the word and the Bible all day, 24-7. Yeah, you want to live a regular life and sometimes just hang out. Yeah. But I'm so addicted to it. When you come around me, that's what you're going to hear. I may give you a little break, a little pause. But I, I got to be around. That's why I'm by myself a lot. I got to be around somebody who is hungry as much as I am. As much as I am to get to this kingdom. As much as I am to share with people. To share with my brothers and sisters. To help my brothers and sisters. I have to be around people with that same type of mindset, Zion. Because for me, for me, it's hard. Like We can be talking about something else in the world for a couple minutes. And then, I, I can't lie, I'm, I'm, I'm turned off by it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm turned off by it because I want to, I'm like, well, is it is the scripture? It, can it help me when it comes to movies? Can the movies help me? Can they, I mean, I'm, I'm so addicted. I don't know what to do no more, but my that's my mindset. You know, if it ain't learning, whether it's, whether it's in the truth or about, you know, our black people or about our culture or about our heritage or something like that, I just ain't got no interest in it. My, my mindset is so set in tunnel vision and, and one tracked it because I'm so hungry for it. So. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to look to make sure it was still recording. <clears throat> but yeah, Zion, just be around somebody with that same mindset, that, that thinks somewhat like you, that that's not judging you, that you don't feel like you're speaking a foreign foreign language to them. You know, you know, you guys are on one accord as, as much as you can. Or if they're coming to learn so they can be on the level as you. You know what I mean? So just that, that, that mindset that you wake up, that, that positive mindset that is always something, uh, it's always positive in every negative situation. You want to be, you know, you just want to be around that mindset. You want to be around that spirit. You want to be around that, that same environment where, where are you guys got the same mindset? Because when we get around people that's in the world, the vibe is different. The energy is different. You know what I mean? The body language is different. I'm a firm believer of body language. The, if your body language is off, it turned me off and that energy and that vibe cut me off and I'm, I'm just cut all the way off. When I'm turned off, it's hard to be turned back on. So. Um, especially if, if I'm cut off and if I feel like I'm being distracted from the truth. If one, when I feel like I'm being distracted, I, I'm just I'm just off of it. I, I, I don't care who it is. You know, if it's my kids, like, hey, y'all got to sit down or I'm going to call y'all back. I love y'all. But I, I'm, I'm so, you know, we, we, you can't love nobody more than the most high. And we know that's hard, but that is what you're supposed to do. It's hard when your mindset is fleshly. I don't think it's as hard when your mindset is with the spirit, with the Ruach HaKodesh. I don't think it's as, as hard. Just like when you're reading, when we read in scriptures, when we read in the Bibles, when we're reading the word, when we're studying, when we're researching. If we're doing it fleshly and just literal, oh, look at the water. And we're just looking like, oh, yeah, that means water. Instead of looking at the bigger picture of the water. Instead of looking at the, the overstanding, the, the, the understanding, the understanding of what the water is, breaking it down. Then that's when you just think it. <clears throat> excuse me. That's when you just reading with the flesh. That's when you just getting the understanding fleshly or just literal. Book means book. 
It doesn't mean like something else or read it or intelligence or encouragement or knowledge. You just look at book and it means book. But you got to you got to think outside the box. You got you got to think bigger. You got to think, you know, you got to think wiser. That and that's where it comes where you're reading, studying and worshiping in the spirit. When you read a scripture in the spirit and you read it in in, in the fleshly world, you, it could be the same scripture, but you're going to get a different understanding because your spirit and your flesh is different. And um just try to have that mindset, Zion, and just hang around people with the same mindset. Try to be on one accord. It's a, man, it's really important to come meditate when you see places like this, to come focus, to come manifest, to come speak to the Most High, to come speak to Abba Yah, come speak to your father sometime, and just not even ask for nothing. Just come speak. Just come manifest. He'll speak to you. Ain't nobody out here, but I'm having a full conversation because I'm speaking to the Most High. I told our Rabbi Abba Yah, hallelujah. So um, just, just come out when you can and uh, just get, be, be filled with the Ruach HaKodesh. You know what I'm saying? Be, be a follower. Yahusha HaMashiach and a servant of the Most High, Yahuwah. Yahuwah Bahashim Yahusha. So y'all have a good day, Zion. I'm finna manifest a little bit. I just wanted to give y'all just a quick little word or something. That mindset, man, just remember, keep, keep, keep people with the same mindset as you. But that's when you master your mindset first. You need to know what your focus is, and then you be around people that has that same focus, them same qualities, the same values that, you know, you guys share the same value. But you have to master your mindset and understand what your mindset is. And your mindset and your manifesting and, and, and all that should be should be on the most high. But, you know, we, we don't judge, but that's what it should be on. Your mindset should be on the most high, your household, and your kids. Get into the kingdom. That, that, I mean, that should, it shouldn't be nothing else that we, we care about. It's getting to the kingdom, coming on one accord with our brothers and sisters, and um, and just living right, following the commandments, the laws, the covenant, whether it's old or new. I believe in the whole Bible, not half, and I don't pick out scriptures. I believe in the whole thing from the beginning to the end, the Alpha and the Omega of the book. So, Shalom, 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 Zion. Y'all have a good one. It's Brother Enoch.